Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of November 8, 2021. And this week we've got four stories. The first one comes from Embraer Air that is coming up with a new line of aircraft called Energia. And uh, these aircraft are designed to be, uh, well, powered by different means. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a follow-up from last week, talking about the 5G rollout, and uh, it looks like they're going to delay things, which is uh, good, but kind of concerning. So let's talk about that. And then lastly, uh, no, and then two more stories, then we'll talk about the Odo Celera 500L, which is a new aircraft that was unveiled and uh, maybe too good to be true, but I'll let you judge that. And then lastly, we'll talk about Emirates that is going to recycle some A380s, and we'll talk about how they're gonna do that. Let's get to it. <music> First thing this week is Embraer is uh, coming up with an announcement of a new line of aircraft that will seat between 9 and 50 people. Uh, these aircraft are going to use a different type of propulsion method, uh, including hybrid hy hydrogen, a uh, dual fuel uh, between Avgas and, um, and, uh, and, and, and Jede, and then turbine or even electric. The projection is to have the first deliveries done between 2030 and 2040, so not tomorrow, but it's going to be around the corner eventually. And then uh, they have two different ones. The, the smaller one is going to be called the E9HE, uh, that's projected to have nine seats, use a combination of piston and electric power, and then have a range of up to 500 miles, which is pretty darn good for, uh, a, well, even a hybrid, you know, electric and piston. The next uh, model is the E19H2GT. Hey, quick note here, Embraer, when you name an aircraft, name it something that people can actually pronounce, okay? Um, so the E19, whatever is after that, is projected to have between 35 and 50 seats, and that's gonna use hydrogen-powered gas turbines, and then has a range between 350 and 500 miles. So this is interesting. Embraer is a fairly large company, uh, and uh, so it is expected at this stage that this will actually happen, uh, unlike a lot of other companies that we see out there with different concepts that may or may not happen. Next story is a follow-up from last week. We talked about the 5G and how concerning it was. The FA was so concerned that they were going to issue some special airworthiness certificates um, for aircraft that are using a radar altimeter, which is used, as we talked about last week, in CAT2 and CAT3 approach, uh, which is used during IFR operation. And 5G was going to mess up these operation. And, um, and the FA wasn't too pleased about it. And uh, the, uh, the, the, the companies that bought the 5G Spectrum, uh, in this case Verizon and AT&T, have actually agreed to delay the 5G rollout because of the concerns of the interference between a ra radar and the radio altimeter. Uh, the, the delay is not infinite. In this case, it's going to be a 30-day delay. But uh, they were supposed to roll out 5G starting in January of uh, 2022. It's going to be, no, I'm sorry, in December of 2022, 21, and it's going to be pushed to January of 2022. Um, this is good news, but also concerning if you think about it. Uh, the fact that large companies like Verizon and AT&T are agreeing to, de to delay this by 30 day is good. But the fact that they're willing to do this tells us that there is really something going on here where this could have a major effect on aircraft operation. Now, to be fair, my personal opinion, 30 days isn't going to do anything. Nothing is going to get resolved in the next 30 days. So this is a nice gesture, but I have a feeling that it's going to need to be much longer than that if it does have that kind of effect. So uh, I'm sure we'll report on this again, uh, either at the end of this year or early next year, because this is not the last that we're hearing about this. Next story is this aircraft called the Odo Celera 500L. And you may have seen this pop up because it was all over uh, what I'm going to call popular news. This is uh, not necessarily something just for people that love aircraft. When you start to see uh, articles from um, places that don't typically talk about aviation, it's always interesting to see what's going to happen with it. But anyway, this aircraft is designed to be four times as efficient as a turboprop, eight times as efficient as a jet. They say the estimated hourly cost is around $330, which a normal turboprop is closer to about $2,100. Uh, they say the fuel economy is roughly 28 to 18 to 25 miles per gallon, which is interesting. They quote this in miles per gallon because typically we do gallons per hour in aviation. Um, supposed to seat around six people, and they say the speed is going to be uh, 460 miles per hour and the range of 4,500 miles. 4,500 miles. If you think about all this, this is all the data coming from the manufacturer, which 
you can take with a grain of salt. Uh, but uh, do you think these are too good to be true? I think they are, but let me know what you think in the comments because this is interesting. Uh, this aircraft is designed to be a diesel aircraft, but they have planned to have a hydrogen and an electric version of the aircraft uh, as well. So we'll put a link down here so you can go and, and take a look at that. Last story this week is Emirates Airline is looking to retire their A380. We talked about this a while back, but now they want to recycle these aircraft. And as you can imagine, recycling an aircraft of this size is not necessarily environmentally friendly. And so they're trying to do this uh, in an environmental way with the least impact. And uh, they had planned to retire all of these aircraft eventually. They're still going to use some of them until at least 2035. But uh, the parts that they're using from the older ones are going to go into the ones that are still flying and then continue operating uh, doing that. Now, the company doing this is called Falcon Aircraft Recycling. They'll break down the aircraft into usable parts and even some souvenirs. So if you want a piece of A380 memorabilia, uh, this is the time to do it. Uh, they say that uh, the, the director of Falcon said that 190 metric tons of material is going to be recycled. Uh, that's a lot of metric tons. All right, this is all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comment, and I will see you guys next week.